Hey guys! A while back, I told you guys about my addiction to online games. And online games doesn't even begin to explain my actual addiction. Seriously. In the first video, I talked about Flonga, Viz, Free Arcade, and stuff like that. And while I'm still a frequent visitor, we must go deeper. I, Michelle, am also horribly addicted to The Sims. There, I've said it. Alright. It's out there. I am very addicted to Sims. I will play for a day straight. We are talking 24 straight hours. Not even kidding, I've done it before. I get up for make making popcorn and go into the bathroom. That's about it. I will spend hours building towns and cities and families and then play it for a week and then start a new one. It's horrible. I like building more than I like playing it right now. I'm just on this little like building city kicks and I downloaded the whole world creator thing. Um, and I'm pretty sure I've downloaded like every mod and custom content that's out there that I can get my hands on. Like I don't even know how my main computer functions at this point. I love my custom content, like all of it I'm in love with, but I kind of miss the days where you just kind of made do with what you had because it's all you knew. The game is just so addicting. And soon you start bringing the game stuff into real life. While playing the game, you hum all of the build and buy mode songs. And I'm pretty sure I have them constantly stuck in my head even when I'm done playing it. You also start to wish that getting a job was as easy, or keeping a relationship, or making friends. And seriously, I'm pretty sure most of us would love the motherload cheat to work in real life. Moving, building, fixing things, changing clothes. Life is just better. The addiction has calmed down a bit because I have full-time hours at the job I'm at. Uh, I also got my own laptop and I play Sims on my main computer. So it kind of has lowered my time. But now, we've hit a problem. See, there are always new Sims expansion packs coming out and it's good for the game developers because suckers like me buy them. And the one they just released has werewolves, better vampires, like zombies, fairies. Like, how can I not get that, okay? Justify to me how I can't get that. And now, I was on their Facebook page, of course, and I realized that they're promoting stuff for The Sims Seasons, which, if you're a simmer like me, you've been waiting for since The Sims 2. I just need more time in my day! And this week is the year anniversary of The Sims Social on Facebook, and now they just added The Sims City also on Facebook. So now I can harass my real friends to help me build fake buildings. Seriously guys, don't try to find me on Facebook unless you're willing to have like four notifications from Sims a day. And the only reason you only get four is because that's the amount that I'm allowed to send. I don't even create pro people's profiles anymore. I don't go through albums like I used to, and it's partially because timeline sucks. But most of it is just because I go on Facebook, go on Sims. I'm just too busy trying to finish my new loft to even see what so-and-so did in Cancun. This video doesn't really have a point. I kind of see that now. Um, so we'll make a point. If I ever disappear for more than a few weeks without on Twitter or Facebook or YouTube, I bought the new Sims expansion packs and I'm on the computer. Talking about Sims has now put me in the mood for Sims. Goddamn. Thank you for watching.